one step at a time. So Street Fighter 6 just released their July 2023 character usage data, which means these are the most played characters per rank. And there are more than a few things that really catch my eye and are super interesting. All right, so first things first, if you enjoy fighting game content, make sure to subscribe here for more because we have new videos Monday and Friday and we stream twice a week. All right, my dude, so here is the chart right here. As you can see, it is categorized in columns by rookie first, and then we have another column that's iron, bronze, silver, and gold all together. And then we have the last column which is the last three ranks platinum diamond mastered now i am a diamond player right now i'm a diamond manon player but i started in gold so i have a lot of experience in these ranks so i'll tell you right now i'm already seeing some similarities from my own experience from this kind of like a uh, character usage data we see here but the first thing i want to know is uh i don't know if you guys can see this it's pretty st it's kind of stands out jury because she's you know bright and purple she's the most popular character in rookie as you can see followed by kami ken luke and ryu now the reason why jury is interesting is because when you go to iron right when you go to iron bronze silver gold she drops down to three not just two she goes all the way down to three and then you hit platinum and she's bottom five so she's still like the top five most played characters but her rank like how much she's actually used how much she's played goes down every category of rank and the reason why that caught my eyes because i'm actually learning how to play jury myself right now so honestly i kind of understand this and the reason why is because on the surface jury is actually a very friendly beginner friendly character she's got a lot of fun you know good tools she has good anti-air she's got good basic normal she's got good specials her supers are fun to use she can do a lot of fun and good stuff right out of the gate but as you start to learn her more intricate details, she gets a bit more complex. So as you guys can see here, iron, bronze, silver, gold, she's kind of in the middle. She's top three, because again, she's pretty beginner friendly, but as you get to platinum, diamond, master, she kind of has a higher skill ceiling than most characters, in my opinion, with her feng shui engine install for her super art too. And just what she can do with her moveset, she's very interesting. Uh, but, but but again, I think her skill ceiling is a bit higher than most characters. So she gets a bit harder to play the higher you go in rank because the higher you go in rank essentially you need to be doing more you can't just be doing you know your standard pokes and and hitting every dp you get out there so so jury uh, well any character kind of takes a bit more you know thinking power the higher you go in ranks and and jury requires more thinking power as a character so your mental stack is is pretty stacked the higher you go in the rank so it's kind of interesting to see that she starts at the very top most played character and then as you go higher in the ranks she just starts to but on the flip side of that, we see here in Rookie, we have Ryu at the bottom five. You see right next to him, he becomes four in Iron, Bronze, Silver, Gold, and then becomes three in Platinum, Diamond, Master. So Ryu actually gains more popularity, more usage as the ranks go on, which I thought was interesting because I mean, I like Ryu, but I see his, you know, his pros, his cons. I see kind of what he's going through and to see him in top three most played characters in Platinum, Diamond, Master in the higher ranks. I play Diamond right now and I 100% agree. Uh, the first thing I want to agree on absolutely is the is the Ken. I mean, Ken is number one. As soon as you exit rookie, as soon as you exit rookie, you get an iron, bronze, silver, gold, all the way to master. Ken is the number one most played character. And keep in mind, this is for July 2023, not even August after Evo had happened where Ken won Evo. So I would argue that's actually worse right now. Well, worse in the sense of, I, th I think I'm seeing more Kens yesterday. I'm not even joking you. I fought six Kens in a row, in a row on rank. So this is July where Ken was very popular through all, all of the ranks. Number one most played character, except for rookie, which again, I, I played gold, platinum, diamond. I totally agree. And then a couple last interesting points here is Luke, I thought would be number one in the rookie because he's one of the most basic characters. He's the first character in world tour that you introduced to. He's got a great move set, but he's number four of the most played characters in Rookie. And then as soon as you exit Rookie, as soon as you exit Rookie, he is gone. He's out of there. He's no longer on the list. He's no longer top five. Even in Iron, Bronze, Silver, Gold, Luke is not in the top five. Jury and Kami take over Luke. Like, I thought that people would be playing Luke you know they'd be playing luke over cami or jury but no they said f you luke see you later we're done with you they just toss him aside and instead marissa takes his place because if you guys haven't noticed yet 
through all this entire ranks, all the way from rookie to master, it is basically the same five characters. The same four are always Jury, Kami, Ken, Ryu. That's it, Jury, Kami, Ken, Ryu. Those four are here no matter what. The only replacement is, like I said, after rookie, a lot of rookies want to play Luke. Luke, again, is very easy, beginner friendly. He's got a great move set. Then he's replaced by Marissa. And again, I totally agree, especially in the diamond ranks where I'm, I'm in diamond right now, I see a ton of Lukes and yep, absolutely. If it's not Ken, it's definitely Marissa. Did I say Luke, I meant Ken. And same goes, if it's not Marissa or Ken, it's definitely Ryu and Kami. Cause this isn't even regional lock. This is overall, I'm in North America West, but even in my region, this kind of like stature, this kind of column one, two, three, four, the top five most played characters is, is it has been my experience. I've definitely played the most Kens and then Marissa so I can definitely see the reuse, the camis, the juries. I see this on a daily basis. But but what I think is interesting, go back to my point about Luke being replaced by Marissa, is Marissa then turns into the top five, bottom five, so number five of the top five most played characters for Iron Bronze, Silver, Gold. So she kind of sneaks her way in. She's not number four, two, or, you know, or even one. She's just like, oh yeah, I'm now in the top five. And then as soon as you hit Platinum, Diamond, Master, she's number two right under Ken. She gets everybody. She goes right above Kami, Jury, Ryu. She goes above them all and becomes the second most played character in Platinum Diamond Master. And I can't really say why. I mean, honestly, her damage is absolutely disgusting. That might be a part of it. She gets armor on some moves. She can deplete your drive gauge like none other. Even if you're just blocking, she can absolutely destroy your drive gauge, putting you at a big disadvantage. She's got a command grab. She's got good overhead. She's got good lows. She has a decent anti She's got a really good kit. She's actually classified as like an easy character. So here's the funny thing. Jury is classified as a hard character and she's number one in the rookie section. And Marissa is classified as an easy character, but she's not even in the rookie section for the top five. And then you swap it, come into the, you know, the higher ranks, Platinum Diamond Master, where all the good players are at. And the good players are using Marissa, which is an easy character. And, and kind of the rookies over here are using a hard character. You would think it would be reversed. You'd think that the pros will be using a harder character like jury but instead they're opting in for like ken and marissa which are actually easy characters so that i thought was actually interesting as well i don't know these are just a couple talking points that i wanted to talk about as i saw this this column of lists of the ranks and the top five most played characters in those ranks like i said it definitely matches my experience playing gold all the way through diamond but let me know down below what has your experience been like in ranked does this chart match your experience at all and who do you mean let me know down below Subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.